Pufferfish667 has most certainly quit YouTube. This was confirmed by one of his closest friends by the name of Zeus, where he states that Pufferfish667 is currently committed to university and due to that, he will not be doing YouTube anymore. More interestingly, he states that Pufferfish667 still plays Apex Legends till this day and you might even catch him in one of his streams, which makes the fact that Pufferfish's last uploads on both his main and secondary YouTube channels being well over a year old that much more mysterious. Because if Pufferfish667 is still active as Zeus states, what is stopping him from updating his concerned fans about his whereabouts? No new community posts, no new Twitter post, not even a reply to one of the many comments under his latest video asking if he is okay. The mysterious nature of Pufferfish's disappearance and the fact that leading up to him suddenly disappearing from social media, he had serious health problems that that quite literally forced him to stop playing video games forces us to answer these three questions if we want to solve the mystery as to what is stopping Pufferfish667 from returning to YouTube. What led up to Pufferfish's disappearance from social media? Is Pufferfish's health status better or worse? And the most important question of them all, does Pufferfish even plan on coming back to social media to begin with? Well, the first question on what led up to Pufferfish's disappearance from social media can be answered fairly easily as Pufferfish667 made it clear as day as to what was stopping him from physically picking up a controller in the first place. If we jump back to March 6th of 2021, Pufferfish would post a tweet saying that he was diagnosed with a condition called tennis elbow, which is a painful condition that occurs when tendons in your elbow are overloaded, a fairly common yet serious health issue for full time professional gamers. And due to Pufferfish having this painful health condition, he would need to take a couple weeks off to let it heal in order to perform at his highest while creating content. At the time, this seemingly innocent tweet was brushed off by fans as being just another common update that streamers would make every now and then to keep their fans informed on what was happening in their private lives. So it wouldn't come to surprise when you look at the replies and in the pile of concerned comments regarding Pufferfish's health health status, you would see people making jokes to help ease the situation. But little did any of them know, Pufferfish667 had basically announced the main catalyst that would soon cause him to disappear from not just gaming but from social media as a whole. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet because if you look at Pufferfish's tweets from early 2021, it would have been impossible to assume that Pufferfish was on track to disappear from social media anytime soon since many of the tweets in the months leading up to March of 2021 showed that he was planning to grind harder than ever, even going as far as hiring an editor so that he could stream 8 plus hours a day while also posting daily videos to his YouTube channel. And at this point, if I was to say that Pufferfish didn't at least try to grind extra hard even though he was diagnosed with tennis elbow, I would be lying since after announcing that he had tennis elbow in March of 2021, he would continue to post daily videos. And for 8 consecutive days, there were no clear indications that tennis Tennis Elbow had been causing the quality of his videos to drop and up to this point, unless you were following his Twitter, which many of his YouTube viewers were not, you would have never known that in the background, he was painfully pushing himself to create content all while being entertaining for his viewers. But that wasn't until March 14th of 2021 when he would upload a video called, So I Have Some Really Bad News. And in this video, he would finally announce his health situation to his YouTube viewers. I didn't realize that it was actually possible to get an injury from playing like eight hours of video games every day. But you know, we're just simply built different on this channel. So we're, we're always going to figure out a way. But I basically got tennis elbow. If you don't know what that is, this, this tendon right here, like the thing that connects the forearm muscle that controls, you know, your hand. I basically just worn it down and just, just hurt it, I guess. So whenever I play, it just starts like dying and then it gets to the point where like you know when your muscles kind of get sore and like the, the, the it gets weak and you can't really like use it properly that's what happens with my hand so i played like a complete bot so playing is just straight up out of the picture that's why you know the uploads and the streams have been have, have been gone that's why they're not there anymore and the thing that sucks about this is it takes a while to heal it can take a month 
it can take two months it's kind of you know hit or miss different for everyone but you you just gotta rest it like i can't do what was causing the pain otherwise it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse one of the main takeaways from Puffer Fish's health announcement video was the fact that Tennis Elbow can take a while to heal. According to verifiable sources like the National Health Service, better known as NHS, they state that Tennis Elbow usually lasts between 6 months and 2 years, with most people making a full recovery within a year. And this leads us to the second question we need to answer in order to understand why Puffer Fish 667 had disappeared from social media. Is Puffer Fish his health status better or worse? To answer this second question, we first need to understand the severity of Pufferfish's health condition. You see, tennis elbow isn't one of those health conditions that is easily curable. In fact, in almost every case of professional gamers being diagnosed with tennis elbow, they have to retire due to the fact that you will constantly feel a form of pain that isn't bearable to play through. And if you were to ignore the pain and not give your body the time to heal itself, you would only be making the situation worse, since the only way of curing tennis elbow without having to undergo surgery would be by putting your career in gaming on hold. Now for Pufferfish667, this was the absolute worst thing that could have happened to him since his career in gaming wasn't something you could just put on hold, especially at his size. You see, Pufferfish was a professional gamer in the sense that he was extremely skilled at Apex Legends. He wasn't an esports pro that competed in tournaments or represented an organization. He represented himself and if he was to take a break for god knows how long he could only rely on himself to bounce back to the top but regardless as i stated earlier in order for his tennis elbow to heal puffer fish would be forced to stop creating content for the greater good whether he liked it or not and as expected for 43 long days puffer fish 667 would not live stream or post a video at all but that wasn't until april 26 of 2021 when he would post a video called Called, I'm back, kinda. And in this video, he had good news to tell his fans. I am finally back, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's been like a month and a half since my last upload and it's been like a month and a half since i played apex at all which is actually really upsetting to me because i heard the spitfire was really fun to go against this season dude. i wish i could have experienced it but you know sometimes it just be like that now an update on the arm, if you didn't know, I, I, I just heard it from playing video games too much as pathetic as that is, but it has got it a lot better and it's basically at the point where I can play again, but there's a bit of a catch, I, I can't play as much as I used to, you know, I still kind of have to take it slow, I still have to kind of chill a little, I can't just jump back into it like I was, you know, a couple months ago, but you know, it, it's better than nothing. And so the uploads, they might not be as consistent, they might not be as good quality, you know, gameplay and everything, but they're coming back, baby. And that's all that matters. Luckily, his situation had been getting better as the pain had now become bearable to play through. And since he had only taken a short 43 day break, which is far less than the six months to two years it takes for Tennis Elbow to heal, it seemed like Pufferfish667 had a bright future ahead of him. But obviously, I wouldn't be making this video if that was true. Since even though Pufferfish had semi-returned and was able to occasionally post here and there, his health situation was not what he had thought it was. In fact, it turned out that he did not even have tennis elbow to begin with. Due to bad advice from a doctor, Pufferfish had been under the misconception that he had tennis elbow, and as stated earlier, the common way of getting rid of tennis elbow would be by doing absolutely nothing. And since Pufferfish was told by a doctor that the pain he had been suffering from was tennis elbow, Pufferfish took the common advice of resting, even though that was not the cure to the problem he was facing. Alright, welcome to the end of the video. It's been like four months since I've actually been like proper, proper playing it and uploading, which which is way too long. And you might be thinking, dude, what have you done to your arm? You, you've you destroyed it. Which I have to an extent, but like not as bad as you might think because I wasted so much time in this like healing process just like not even my fault just from like wrong advice from from the people who give advice and when he later went to another doctor to see if there was ways to help speed up his healing process he discovered that he did not even have tennis elbow at all basically wasting three months and a half of his time doing absolutely nothing and it was annoying me so i was like all right 
I'm gonna get this fixed. I went to the doctor. They said I had tennis elbow, which spoiler, I actually don't, but they said I had it. So I treated it like that. And you just gotta let that rest for a while and let the tendons heal if you do have that. But since I didn't have it, I spent like a month and a half just literally doing nothing, letting them heal. And nothing came out of it because I didn't have tennis elbow. Now, Pufferfish didn't make it clear as to what exactly he was suffering from after stating it was not tennis elbow, but Pufferfish made it clear that due to bad advice from his first doctor, a placebo effect had been causing him to think that his health situation was getting better, when in reality, it had been getting worse the entire time. And even though in this update, he made it clear once again that his health situation was improving, doctors stated that his health situation was a bit weird and unusual. So only time could tell on when he would be fully healed. Now even though his health situation was really bad, as he stated, he could play for about 4 hours every day and as it seemed, that was more than enough time to create gameplay videos to post on his main YouTube channel, not consistently, but frequent enough to survive irrelevancy. Now up to this point of the video, we have been solely focusing on Pufferfish's health situation since it was quite literally the reason why he was unable to create content in its highest form, but there is one one extremely important factor we haven't spoke about yet that I would argue is what would answer the third question on why Pufferfish667 had disappeared from social media and probably would never choose to come back. Does Pufferfish667 even plan on coming back to social media to begin with? This question is the most important question out of the three and yet ironically it can be solved in just four words. His channel is dead. If we look at Pufferfish's social blade, you will see that in the month of February 2021, it was at his second highest month, garnering over 1.4 million views. And then he will see a decline in views in March of 2021, only pulling in 960,000 views. Not too bad until you look at the upcoming months. And as you notice, it only got worse and worse and worse and worse. And honestly, I could sit here and explain in detail on how and why his viewership dropped in order to stretch out this video, but let's be real, it's clear as day as to why his viewership dropped after the month of March 2021. It was because of his ability to upload less frequently due to his health situation paired with his declining skill level, which as you already know, was caused by his mystery health issue. Now you might be wondering, that isn't a big deal since the low amount of views is due to the fact that his content is outdated and he hasn't uploaded a single video in over a year. But once he comes back and starts uploading videos again, he will see a spike in viewership and would be able to revive his career from that. And honestly, if you are one of the people that feel that way, you could be correct. But for the sake of this video, let's look at this from the perspective of a YouTuber. Not uploading for over a year, especially as a gameplay YouTuber, is pretty much suicide for your YouTube channel since you would be kicked off the algorithm for not putting in as much work, meaning less notifications would be sent out to your subscribers and your videos shown on recommended would be less frequent, which would result in you pulling next to nothing in terms of views. So if Pufferfish was to come back and start grinding YouTube again, he would most likely have to start from square one and rebuild his YouTube channel all over again. And if you factor in what Apex Legends has become, if Pufferfish fish is out there witnessing what apex legends is going through i doubt he would want to come back and stream eight plus hours a day every single day and even that would be unlikely since as his closest friends zeus and sophia are state pufferfish is committed to university and doesn't think he would come back to streaming anytime soon 